Hello, my brothers and sisters. I hope you all are doing well. I know I said I would try to put something up a few days ago. Um, I've just been running into uh, this thing and another thing and uh, been worn out having difficulties with my recording equipment and whatnot. So I'm here now. Um, plus I was waiting on the Lord. I wasn't feeling like I should go forward and um, there was a couple things that he wanted me to change so uh, I did get the go ahead this morning to go ahead and share what I have been shown. So without further ado let me get into this. So um, for those of you who have been watching this channel for a while you know that uh, the Lord was leading me to follow a specific type of calendar, an Enoch calendar, and not just that one alone, but having you all look at myself and you all look at different calendars. And he put in my spirit last year, for those of you who were with me when I was, uh, when I had the calendars all side, side by side and showed the different dates and the strong meanings, and he is very plainly put into my spirit as well as others that um, the father is not just using one particular can calendar because he knows that they're all different and everyone goes by a different one and sometimes when we think this calendar is correct we find out later that something occurred on a different calendar so anyway he has made it known to me that he can and will use all different calendars to convey his messages to his people to his servants who are on the wall watching and sharing the information that he gives to them um, and so what I'm going to show you it, it falls into that category as well so I'm going to show you a time frame that the Holy Spirit led me to move to um, and it, but it doesn't mean that what he led me to previously was wrong. He used that previous time frame to get us to this point now. And I have said many times, and I'll continue to say, that the Lord gives us breadcrumbs, gives us pieces of the puzzle to keep us going forward. To say, okay, here's a piece there's more down the road but I'm not going to give you that yet so give he gives what he needs to at the time and then we are to take it and in faith keep moving forward and I was listening to our sister TB Shores for, from Seek and Ye Shall Find channel and um, she's a wonderful lady in the Lord, a wonderful teacher of scripture, and every time I've always listened to her videos, I, I'm i on the same wavelength. Um, sometimes I'll even think to myself as she's explaining things, uh, what the Holy Spirit gives me, and then she says it. So, and I have that same um, relationship with other watchmen as well. And I know that other watchmen will have that type of relationship with others. So, and, he, and that's the way he wants it. He wants us all to work together. So, I was listening to TB Shore's video this morning, and um, she said the exact same thing, that uh, sometimes he'll show us something on a calendar, and we think nothing happened, but it did, because it was something in the spirit that he was trying to get us to understand. And so what I'm going to share about this time frame here on this uh, Zodiac uh, date system is in that same category. Okay, so previously when he led me to begin, um, this goes way back to my Enoch wheel, dividing the wheel into 12 parts, representing the 12 constellations, representing 
the 12 tribes, um, the 12 seasons, or, or aka months, and he let me know my spirit to begin the first month, the day after the spring equinox. So, um, we know that we've been told that this is a spring equinox, but the Holy Spirit led me to a different date after doing some research and um, that date last year was March 16th with the first day of Nissan beginning March 17th. Now I just want to reiterate that just because I'm going to be sharing dates in this video does not mean that um, I'm saying I'm right and other calendars are wrong because the Lord is using different ones and all of them. And so this year I did the same thing. However, I began, I believe it was the, the first day of Nissan on, I think, March 22nd, which is 322. I can't remember if it was the 20th or the 22nd. I, in, regardless, um, it led me to a certain point and then... I kept hearing in my spirit, it's a month off, it's a month off. Go back, go back. I kept also hearing side reel. So, and I, obviously it was him trying to direct me to look at a different time frame. Not that that time frame is wrong and this one is right or this, you know, this one's wrong and it doesn't, it doesn't, um, it doesn't matter is what I'm trying to say because he when he wants to lead us to a certain point, he'll show us what he needs to show us. So, um, I actually recorded, I started to record this information on the 16th of this month. And to confirm, he said to look at where the sun is. Now, I don't know for sure if we can trust all the different um, star mapping programs, um, the dates that they give us, I don't completely trust any of them, which is why I think the Lord is using all of them and he'll lead us where he wants us to, wants us to go. So on May 16th, the sun actually entered into the constellation of Taurus. Now keep in mind, this is uh, the zodiac regarding where the sun is in the heavens. It has nothing to do with astrology. So let me show you to confirm that um, the sun entered into the constellation of Taurus on May 16th. Okay, so you see here's the date, May 16, 2020. And when you zoom in, let's zoom in so you all can see it. It is not doing anything. Hang on. Okay, so as you see, the sun entered into the constellation of Taurus. And so that was what the Holy Spirit was leading me on. He said to follow where the sun is. And that's how you know what time frame I want to show you. So doing so, I re adjusted the calendar dates to reflect where the month of Nisan or Aviv should begin. Now, keep in mind this is just for reference I'm not saying that that everything is right but wait to see how things line up it's amazing so um, so going by this time frame instead of the tropical days going by the side real dates that means that the Sun should have entered Aries and I double checked on April 15th and the first day that it enters should be allotted for the spring equinox, meaning that day one of that month of Nissan should begin the following day on the 16th. So, so that's what I did. I put Nissan one here on April 16th of this year, and thusly that would make Passover begin on the evening of April 29th. And we, the 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 dates of these feast days and how they're going to connect is it it can't be coincidence so uh, meaning that the first day of unleavened bread 
would be April 30th. So keep following me here because I'm going to show you an amazing pattern that I've already shown in the past, but how it fits and how uh, we are quickly approaching even this weekend of a very important time frame to be watching, high watch date. So that makes the first day of the Omar on May 1st. Now, those of you who have watched myself and other Watchmen's channels, we've all, a lot, well, we, not all, but a lot of us have done videos about May and May Day, which would be May 1st. I, I did videos last year and a year before, I believe, and on the occult connection of May Day or May 1st and Passover and how it's a mockery of it. So that is, um, I don't think, a coincidence that the first day of the Omar count landed on May 1st. So if we move ahead to this month, then uh, you'll see here's, here's where everything began on this new time frame making the seventh day of unleavened bread on May 6th. Bringing second Passover now a month later to beginning on the evening of the 29th, which is two days from now. And the first day of second Passover being on the 30th, which is this Saturday. It just so happens that these key dates, after switching the time frames, now land on what the Jews will be observing as Shavuot also known as Pentecost. They don't call it Pentecost, of course, but Shavuot for Israel begins the evening of the 28th, and this is the actual day that they would be observing it. And then in the diaspora, which are the Jews that are outside of Israel, they will be observing Shavuot on this day, beginning they'll begin on the evening here, and they actually observe it for two days because they don't want to miss it. Um, since Israel is a day ahead, so they observe it for these two days. But this is their primary day. So not coincidence that once I switch the time frame as led by the Holy Spirit, that second Passover now falls on Shavuot. And it's going to continue, um, as you'll see when I get to that part. So... For those of you who are not aware of uh, the meaning behind Shavuot, it's, it's a um, harvest festival originally in the Old Testament, but it is the culmination or the end of the Passover season. So first Passover, second Passover happens, and then it ends with Shavuot. What does the Lord say? I am the end and the beginning. So here where the Passover season of first and second Passover ends in Israel, second Passover now begins on the new time frame that the Holy Spirit showed me. And for those of you, uh, Holly Two Moons pointed out a channel, Dr. Barry Awe channel, and he is pointing to June 6 as being Pentecost. Well, not coincidence that once I change the time frame, ER being the second month, this now becomes the 22nd day. So that's the second month and the 22nd day, which is 222. 222 and 223 in the Strong's concordance means the flame of YAH in the Hebrew. The flame of YAH is the Holy Spirit. What happened on Pentecost? The Holy Spirit, the tongues of fire came down on the people so there's more connections guys and it's just amazing so I will have to cut this video off um, pray that everything gets saved this time I've tried this uh, back on the 16th so just keep me in prayer that everything will go smoothly I don't know how many parts it's going to be but I'm going to show you some encouraging amazing things and as I said this weekend is a high watch period um, actually Possibly beginning tomorrow evening, but definitely Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I will see you in the next video, part two. Love you guys. Shalom.